I don't remember how to play this game, so bear with me as I get my ass handed to me. I don't, I don't remember how to play this game at fucking all, so bear with my ass. I did most of this stuff except for, I guess, loot the treasures. What is happening? Who's fighting? Are people fighting? Am I fighting? Well, now I am. Hell yeah. Give me your stuff. Were they fighting cops? Damn it. Oh, that guy's fucking dead. I also love Mario Odyssey. Laugh. Everybody get together and laugh. You said it. You, you done did it. Diddly done it. You said the joke, you did the deal. Good job. Aren't you little, little epic epic, huh? Fuck do I block again? Is there a block button in Ass Creed? I can't fucking remember. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. Is there, is there a block button? Or is there just a parry? Oh shit. I feel like there should be, in games like this, there should be like a fucking combat tutorial that you can go back to. He's playing on normal because I'm a coward. Uh, controls, brace. Guess there's a dodge that's good enough for me. I don't. I don't know the intri intricacies intricacies of, of funny combat. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't taught about the, the floating goats. <laughs> Damn it, if only they had taught me about those pesky water goats. Shit. That's my bird. I'm trying to get all this pocket change so I can afford the new Simpsons game at the Blockbuster. Be gone, foul demon. This is my swamp. What's in this funny box? Wow. Brachma. Alright, what else we got here? We got we got we got a we got a lumber yard. I gotta go loot the treasure at the lumber yard. We got we gotta go. Brendan, why does Retribution have to be so lame when every member is some of my favorite roster members? Because WWE doesn't know how to book angles. They just fall into it sometimes. WWE just does so many fucking angles that they just fall into it. They, they don't mean to. It, it just falls into it. Shut the fuck up, dog. Where are you? Fight me. Jesus. Watch out for that nasty dog. That's a nasty, smelly dog right there. You better watch out. But yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is is it's it's not that they can't wrestle, and it's not that a lot of WWE superstars can't wrestle. It's just that WWE is is has a poor understanding of of good storytelling. Sometimes, ninety percent of the time, WWE is trash. Ten percent of the time, they're magic. And like that's the thing about Retribution is is they're not even going to give it time to breathe. They're just going to drop it. They're just going to drop it, and that'll be that. It, they'll be done with it. Yeah, they personally hate you. I mean... Legitimately, the biggest problem with the WWE is that they're just stupid. It's a bunch of stupid old men that don't know how the funny works. They don't hate you, they just are too stupid to realize how the funny works. They just haven't figured it out. They can't figure it out. They're too fucking dumb for it. 
right? Like, that's that's the biggest problem. End of the day, they're just too fucking dumb for it. It's not their fault that they're too fucking dumb. They're just too fucking dumb. I mean, the bigger, like I said, the, 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 it just sucks that, like, they they push this booking. And it's like they can't figure out why people don't want to watch wrestling anymore. Or why people don't want to, want to give a shit. And it's not about, like, it's, uh, if you want to bring casual fans back to wrestling, what you need to do is give them easily digestible stories... That aren't shit. You need a bigger than life hero. And the last bigger than life hero they had was is uh, not even really John Cena. John Cena is the closest they've gotten. But I would say personally the biggest, the last bigger than life hero they had was The Rock and Stone Cold. People honestly say, oh, The Rock, The Rock, The Rock. But Stone Cold at the time was the reason people tuned into wrestling. I mean, yeah, sure, The Rock is famous now, and The Rock was famous then, but The Rock was never as wrestling famous as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold was their first bigger-than-life star, like star after fucking Hulk Hogan. And that's, that's the biggest fucking issue. Because they just did not have another bigger than life star after losing the Hulkster. You know, so they had to they had to get fucking lucky, and they got incredibly fucking lucky. I mean, wrestling's always been a carny business. Like, people will try to tell you that wrestling is better, that their company is in a carny business, but I'll be honest with you, wrestling's a fucking carny business. Like, it just is. Like, that's just the fucking tail end of it. I mean, of course Stone Cold spoke to you. He was a, he was an anti-establishment dude who was very easy to digest. He came in, he kicked ass, he left. Like, that was Stone Cold. It was nothing, nothing super special. It was nothing incredible. He came in, wacky hijinks, he left. Wrestling has always been a shitty business. Sometimes there are just a couple good people. But wrestling has always been a shitty business. And I would I would agree with you, Abel Mind. I I, I I would agree with you, but I'd also say that I didn't get into wrestling until after the Attitude Era. I got into wrestling when Mick Foley was old, and it was 2003, 2004, 2005. That's when I got into wrestling. Not when I was a small child, when I was a, a, a preteen and teenager. And I got in late. And like going back and, and reading and listening to all, all of these old uh, stories of wrestling and going back and experiencing the Attitude Era as an adult, I see why it is so incredibly popular. I see why it did incredibly well. All the years I lived on Kefalonia. I never realized the might of this is palace was here. The legendary shroud. El Pinor wasn't lying. I mean, yeah, biggest biggest thing is 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 that I really, really liked as a kid. I loved Mick Foley. And like, not dude love Mick Foley. Not Cactus Jack Mick Foley. Not Mankind Mick Foley. I love, 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 regular fucking goddamn plaid shirt wearing motherfucker Mick Foley. Something spoke to me about this old guy, this, this older dude, getting his ass kicked over and over again and still giving it his all. And that's what invested me in wrestling is Mick Foley's character work has always been incredibly impressive, but also just his work as himself. Um, I don't know, my favorite wrestlers as a kid 
were like Mick Foley, uh, Big Daddy V, like the fucking weirdos, Undertaker, Kane. I loved wrestling because I was a weirdo, and I am a weirdo, and that, it felt like a, it felt like weirdos could get together and fucking beat the shit out of other weirdos. And that's what I love in wrestling today, is I love the weirdos. I appreciate the weirdos. I don't, I don't care about Mr. Big fucking Meat Man fucking slapping his fat cock against the ring until it fucking bulgy wulgy falls off. I like... The big meat man who also wears a mask. See, and, and 20... 2009 to 2019. Ten years, I did not give a shit about wrestling. Ten years, I did not watch or care about wrestling. At all, actually. Um, I got back into it when AEW became a thing, and I started watching AEW, and I started reading and, and watching New Japan, watching AEW watching older shows, watching the Attitude Era stuff. And I really appreciate it uh, as, as something uh, kind of uh, where it came from, I guess. You know, I, 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 I think you can appreciate wrestling while understanding that the business is fucked. I really do. I, I really do think you can appreciate and love wrestling and acknowledge that it's a fucked up, awful carny business. 90% of the time, it's just the, the passion that some people can put into the art form is so impressive that it makes you want to keep watching. Um, I don't know, I don't know if AEW is ever going to have a larger than life hero come from their promotion. And I, I legitimately say that as someone who is a big AEW fan, um, all elite wrestling has a lot of good talent and a lot of really shitty, awful, b like, booking division, like, booking sometimes. And it's, it's fucking awful. That, that, like, there are so many stars at AEW that there's, uh, mm, I, I don't foresee anybody, like, building and, and being huge for a while from there. Um, and I could be wrong, and I, I would blessedly be wrong, because I'm a big fan of that company. But I I do understand that it's a niche. Wrestling is now niche, right? I, I think to bring wrestling back to the masses, you would need something that is uh, wholly and fully entertaining to everybody. And I think that's the big thing that wrestling needs sometimes. But the problem is, it's like, I like wrestling as, as niche as it is. I love wrestling being niche. Because then they get to explore more in-depth storylines. They get to do fucking weirder matches. They get to they get to do weird weirder shit. When wrestling became mainstream in the '90s and early 2000s, you can see that while it benefited it, while it helped it grow, it also hindered it because it was becoming stale, and they kept doing the same thing over and over again. When any industry becomes too great, they fall into that same trapping of. Well, let's just keep doing what we've been doing. Let's not explore new opportunities. Let's not explore new growth. Let's just keep doing what we've been doing and just change it a little bit. And that's the problem that WWE has had for the last 20 fucking years. There have been new storylines. There have been good storylines. I don't want to be like, oh, I hate WWE. I think what they're doing with Roman Reigns right now is fantastic. I think that the whole Roman Reigns being a bad guy shtick is perfect. I think it's one of the best buildups they've ever had, accidentally. Lars Sullivan is a fucking dipshit. Fuck that guy. Fuck Lars Sullivan. Fuck that guy. What is he gonna is he gonna join Retribution? I don't even watch WWE. I, I catch like highlights. I can't even watch WWE anymore. I watch fucking highlights. And like, AEW has its problems, but at the end of the day, I enjoy the product more. And like, parts of the product that I enjoy, enjoy more are the wrestlers are putting on a good show. The wrestlers that I like are getting matches. <laughs> I, I don't have to worry about someone being buried down in the card because they want to... Give Brock Lesnar another opponent 
They, I don't. I don't have to worry about being buried down the. You know, uh, somebody I like being buried down the card because they want to give Brock Lesnar a funny opponent. Or we talked about being bullied. He is. He is a bully. What the fuck do you mean bullied? He's a fucking weirdo bully. Hello, Christobopolis. Hello, Crumbopular. Yeah, Lesnar isn't around, and he's probably not going to be around for a while. Dude has millions of dollars and lives on a farm. He has his own ranch. He doesn't have to worry about shit for a while. Lesnar is safe. He is protected. They'll only bust him out if they absolutely positively feel like they need him. And, and not to say, one, Lesnar's a pretty alright worker. Two, Re Lesnar's, Lesnar's a great, like, monster. Lesnar's a good antagonist when you build him up. He comes in, he kicks everybody's ass, and then... Uh, like, he, he exists to put over new guys. Lesnar exists to run through your roster and then put over someone new. And that's the worst time, that's the worst part about all of the WWE part-timers, is that they exist for a, one reason and one reason alone, and that's to put someone at the end of the day over. They're not sticking around, they're gonna come back and do the exact same thing they've always done, which is disappear for a while, and then come back to put somebody over at some point. Basically, hey, we'll have you on for nine months. You don't have to wrestle much. You're just here to put some guys over. You will not Let's get out of here. Can you fight? No, yeah, putting the belt on him, is, he shouldn't have the belt. You don't need a championship belt to tell a good story. You don't. You don't need a championship belt to be able to tell a good fucking story. That's a that's a popular misconception. They think it's the most important thing. Headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? Like if you if you want to make wrestling good again it's 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 got to go back to treating it less like a sport it really has to go back to that because that's i feel like one of the biggest problems we all know it's it's staged we all know that it's staged we all know it's staged the the, the wool isn't over our eyes right we're here because they're actors and they put on a good show then fucking act like it Maybe that's one thing I like about AEW is that there are more weirdos there and it feels it feels like they're in on the joke and they don't expect you to be like Cassandra. So I gotta hate how horrifying my character is. Safe and sound. Well done. I haven't played this game for a year, now, I think. The shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? Wrestling needs what any fucking television show needs. Yes, wrestling is just a television show. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel? I've just never really liked Bray Wyatt. Like, I like it, some of his shtick, but I'm not just, I'm just never, like, gotten into him and it's weird because i do love weirdos bray wyatt i just am kind of man maybe also because i didn't get to see where he came from to be where he is i'm not an assassin there's a first time for everything what do you say 
I accept. Splendid. Of course. Good. And why is the seas are much more dangerous? You won't be when your job in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the boring, not important dialogue. Like I give a shish. Look at his awful armor. <laughs> Look at this nasty ass armor I have. This is gross shit. Oh, what's what's up with Cassandra's look? Uh I I don't know. I think I fucking had Helix credits for playing the game or something. So I just bought these. I think I had some of the funny fucking goddamn awful credits, and I and I bought this because I thought it'd be funny. Like I said, I played this game like a fucking year ago, so I don't remember 90% of the shit that I have. I do like how horrifying she looks. That's pretty good. What is this, a heavy staff? Hell yeah. You ready to get your ass kicked? Let's go, bud. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. I need a boat. <sighs> well, I mean, that's what happens is you get fed to Cena. <laughs> God, if he ever comes back, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything against John. I really don't. I don't have any, anything against uh, John Simba, but man. Epic Sparta kick. I fucking love 300, baby. Did you ever get in a Lucha Underground? No, I missed it. I've watched a couple matches from it. It's a fine ship, the Jimenez. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right prize. The full gear was pretty good. Um, What'll it take for you to part with her? I like the Kenny and Hangman match. Let her go for less I love than John Silver. Um, he's a he's my precious boy. Uh, <laughs> um, AEW needs a better women's division, but I like Nyla Rose. So I mean, I I don't I don't like Nyla Rose with Vicky as a manager because I've heard Nyla talk and and she can fucking talk. Besides, she can, she's fucking, she can, I she can fucking talk, you just have to let her. I don't know if the manager decision is hers or not, I just don't like it. Work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. Um, MJF's a prick and I expected that to happen. Um, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming The deletion match was funny. I really, really liked seeing fucking Hurricane Helms in AEW. Like, that was fucking, like, what? Also, Gangrel, like, seeing Gra Gangrel and be just going, huh? Gangrel? I'm like, really? V vampire? Yeah. Gangrel in the year 2020 was so fucking good. It was so fucking weird. Um, pleasantly surprised at the Cody match, okay, but I don't think that Darby's going to have the title for very long. Again. Let's see what else fucking happened. Um, there was the funny man match. I'm trying to think of what else happened that I give a shit about. Uh, good pin Kenny Omega. 
Fucking pin him. You should take the one wing at Angel and kick out of it because that would be hilarious. Oh yeah, Eddie Kingston in the Mox thing. That was pretty good. Um, I don't know what they want to do with Eddie Kingston. Really, like I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do with him, but like, I'm happy he's uh, he's a good boy. Oh, and kick out instantly. Fuck yeah. Take the one winged angel and fucking immediately smash it. Don't even one count it. Kick it, kick it, kicky assy. That's 76 V triggers and laughed it off. V trigger, more like P trigger. What are you gonna fucking do? Make me piss my pants, Kenny Omega? Huh? Huh, Kenny Omega? You're gonna make me piss my pants? Fucking got him, dude. Yeah, I'll say, um... Uh, Full Gear was pretty fucking good. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time with it. And I think it was a good pay-per-view. Much better than the last two. Much better than Double or Nothing. Holy shit, Double or Nothing fucking sucked. Double or Nothing and the other one. Uh, fuck, what was the last pay-per-view before Full Gear? Fuck. I can't even remember the name of the pay-per-view before Full Gear. That's how fucking bad it was. Just wait here the the whole time for me, coward. My thanks. I can't believe Ithaca is a you are wondering. <laughs> You're right. I'll help you get well. I'm in Cassandra. I'm Odessa. We should head to the. Maybe it was just double or nothing. I feel like there was one in between it. Revolution was was pre-pandemic. All out, all out, that's right. I forgot about all out. Any chance of you watching highlights for Impact's next pay per view? I might. I'm not super big into Impact. There's nobody there that I really this, like. Is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might. No. Understand you. Uh, do you? Ain't you learn fucking nothing? You ain't learned shit, huh? Odysseus is fucking dead. Odysseus, more like Pisseus. Here's your bot. Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended it. He had the attention of- And it made- You look cute right now. I don't usually laugh. All right. You're ugly then. That's not what I meant. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And what? Stay home. But who will remember? Would you rather be remem- mm. Yeah, I really love the, the, the crappy micros in games like this. Because it's just like fucking, you know, just, just slap a fucking bodysuit on her and make it, make it look white. Fucking give her the crazy white, like crazy fucking storm eyes. Swoggle versus Hawkins. I'm just afraid. <laughs> I 
I fear Hornswoggle's power. I'm sorry. There's there's so much power in one swoggle. I just I just, I just fear Hornswoggle. Brendan plays Batista in Gears Five. I would have to turn on Gears Five, and that sounds like a lot of fucking work for me turning on a video game. What the fuck do you mean, Gears Five? More like Gears of War. Oh, oh. Am I right? <coughs> fuck. What is an Ananagatabadaj dragon? The fuck is that? Hey, what's up, gamer? Oh, nice. Hey, watch this fucking cool kick. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use that all the fucking time. Holy shit. Goodbye. Fuck these pots. Oh, I'm covered in juice. I find it weird that fucking... How the absolute fuck... Do all of these older wrestlers look so fucking great? And Chris Jericho looks like he's like... Fucking just... Just, just, just... Bloated all the time. How's the game, gamer man who says things about games? It's a video game that I'm playing. Would I say anything positive about it? I got a sword and it goes weird. That's my favorite part. When the sword goes, that's a good part. See, I've never really liked the Assassin's Creed games. I play them to turn my fucking brain off. And you'll hear critics all the time being like, well, you're turning your brain off is like, it doesn't make it good. And it's like, no, I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying I, I'm playing it to turn my brain off. Like it's a turn your brain off game. Like you know exactly what you're fucking getting with an Assassin's Creed game. For better or worse, you know what you're getting when you play an Ass Creed game. The story is garbage, the, the character work is awful. Nobody gives a shit about fucking me getting garden peas, right? But the world's a little interesting, and the, the, uh, the combat's a little fun. It's brainless, it's just brainless fun. That's it. That's why I like it, is it's brainless fucking fun. I like turning my brain off. Stop. Jesus. How the fuck do- what am I looking for? The fucking- what? Find Ein Igmada Astroka. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what the fuck that means, dude. Chris likes to play the enlightened centrist. I I always say don't like Chris Jericho the person. But I don't I don't mind him as oh there we go. I don't like Chris Jericho the person. I like Chris Jericho the wrestler, and that's the way I've always been. You ever listen to Chris's fucking podcast? It's just a fucking dumb mess. I like when Chris Jericho talks to other wrestlers on his podcast and then everything else you can ignore. Completely ignorable. Fuck this go, dude. Why did that goat register as a fucking predator? Wild. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, if, if you can separate the IRL person from the wrestling characters, you, you just, it just saves you a headache. I say that mostly because, like I said, Chris Jericho, the person's garbage. Fozzy music may not be the worst music I've ever heard, but I'd rather, like, never listen to Fozzy again if I don't have to. Personally, just would choose to never listen to Fozzy again. Fozzy sounds like a, a fucking fake rock music you'd find in a Polish video game. Fozzie has zero good songs. Fozzie has two mediocre songs. <laughs> Fozzie, good songs. Excuse me. Fozzie isn't even butt rock. Fozzie is diarrhea rock. Then they're watching for me. I need to be careful. Uh, Jericho's just being Jericho. He's just fucking stupid. Oh, the gods as my witness. I swear. Which one? What difference does it make? <sighs> All of them. I swear. All of them. I have never. Look at how moist so you much are. Fucking god talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I, oh. But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! He's so mad and angry. Oh, are you gonna put it in the sheep ass? Put it in the fucking animal ass, bro! Go get it. Nice. I... Oh, God, she just penetrated a goat. He's pissed. He's pissed that I penetrated his wife. His beautiful wife. Why are there two Cyclopses? What the fuck? They almost look like the same person. Kick! Gotcha. Watch this epic and cool combat. Why is that man glowing blue now? Stop that. Stop glowing blue, coward. Watch this shit. And a kicky. You shooting shit at me, bud? Got him. Where's this sickle upset? There we go. Here you are, sir. You are free now. We shouldn't delay here any further. I can't break the pot. The rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my I don't know who this Zeus guy is, but he sounds like a Thunder Daddy, and I'm I'm big into Thunder Daddies.
Oh, where are we going? Where are we, where are we going? What did I just do? What happened? What did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> Why are people real? Uh, because it sucks. Life is pain and I hate. I can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas. Captain of the Adrestia. Well, Hello, Barnabas. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mistios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. It's because I am oh, a god. Do you not see my glowing place. eyes? I just happened to the closest. <laughs> And you just happen to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fate. <laughs> so, my ship, you truly. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to Barnabas in Sammy Harbor. Anything fucking cool over here, or am I fucking just loser mode? Am I fucking epic, epic chungus mode? <laughs> Bro, watch out. Bro, watch out, it's... <laughs> they're gonna go chungus mode, bro. <laughs> fucking hate me. I hate me more than you can even possibly imagine. Big Chungus mode is still on cooldown. I pay my taxes with red and gold. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's it. That's how you get him. That's how you cheat Johnny Law. Is you cheat him with fucking Chungus mode. Mr. IRS, I'm so sorry. But I spent all my taxes tax money on alimony for my for my big Chungus wife. You know that Brendan Fraser guy? Yeah, they mis they mistook him for uh, me for him. They said Brendan. Well, same name. Why isn't Reddit Gold a shitty cryptocurrency yet? Why isn't Reddit Gold like uh, I've invented Reddit Crypto? Finally, you can invest your money in my Reddit Crypto. All you got to do is pay real money, and then it becomes real money. Reddit Crypto is worth as much money as you put into it. Isn't it just like real money then? No, but it uses blockchain to specialize and theorize and th synthesize and synchronize and, and prophesize and, and realize. What? Remember, kids, if you buy Reddit Gold, we'll give you a little sticker that says you bought Reddit Gold, you fucking idiot. Remember, kids, if you buy Reddit, Reddit Gold, you, you buy our Reddit microtransactions, you can make people's post epic flair we are ready when you are captain wait doge has been a cryptocurrency because wait, cryptocurrency wait, wait, started to enter uh, a lot of discussions around the time that doge became a meme so dogecoin exists you're not old enough i can't look after you all the time dogecoin exists because of the lightning in the bottle of the joke happening at, around the same time that crypto was becoming big. But there wouldn't be if I can't Kara, my pet eagle. She's my fat. She'll be your friend now. Thanks, Phoebe. 
Besides, I love Kina to play. Go easy on her. But... I promise. I will. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia with... Well, you're here now. All these years as a dynamic... Come now. Yes, bring... Thanks. And what does the future... Wine, of course. Speaking of advent... An adventure... Already... F ready to set... Prepare to... Good. Time to go. Yeah, fuck this shit. I don't give a shit about your dialogue, idiot. Unless I'm stuffing another eye in a goat's ass, I don't care about your dialogue, bitch. So, what course do we set? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for... Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Nikolaos of Sparta. The Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us! Silence! <laughs> I'm gonna throw this fucking baby in. There ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Spine buster on the baby. My baby's fucking dead. Is he gonna Spartan kick the girl? <laughs> I remember when the gods abducted me in their lightning ships and installed cyber implants in my eyes. Right as I fell, I gained the blood of the gods. The wolf of Sparta is my father. Oh no, I have to kill my dad. Whatever will I fucking do? Look at the ship. Slide in the water. Yeah, I don't care. Can I skip this bullshit? Nope. I gotta, I gotta listen to Ubisoft presenting my ass. Ubisoft presents my ass live in HD. Thanks, Ubisoft, for rendering my ass in 4K. Like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the Well, you ain't never been on a fucking boat before? Oh, what would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. Sure. Yeah, okay. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how this Oh boy, store and retrieve. Wow. Allow me to pilot your ship. Take command of the ship. Nice to see you, Commander. Speed up the ship, please. We're fucking going. 
We ought to destroy the ship and acquire Barnabas' as shipment. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Funny music, ha ha ha! Y'all ready for this? Oh yeah, do I have the mercenaries tab open yet? I don't know who the mercenaries are. Can I change my ship? How do I upgrade my ship? Oh, did I get a level up? Nice. No, I don't get a level up. It just showed me death fail. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, I gotta bring, cause I gotta make Cassandra a better mercenary. Is that what it is? I don't know what the fuck that means. Yo, whatever happened to Desmond, huh? Board. Board them. Kick their ass. Yeah, that's right. Come on, losers. I'm going to kick your ass. Come on, bitch. I'm on your fucking boat now. Get up on here. Oh, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to kick you. I'm going to kick you. Give you a big kicky. You poisoned me. No. Oh, I missed all of y'all. You killed all my guys. Hello, big boy. Are you Big Chungus? Are you? you can't take much more. Give it up. Ooh, I desynchronized. Whoopsies. Well, she kept her sword in her hands. Was she still blinking? I'm, I'm terrified. What the fuck was that shit? Bro, that was epic! I loved how epic that was. Epically epic in the epic world. Go down to the epic world. Let's go. Nice boat. Thanks, gamer. I really love this boat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ram this bitch. Watch me ram this bitch.
board their asses. Let's go. We're going to kick their ass. Everybody get on. Start kicking ass. Actually kick their ass this time. I'm going to get on. I'm going to kick their ass. Watch this shit. Die. He's in the water. He can't swim. Don't worry, I, I, if I've learned one thing, it's video game baddies can't swim. He's gonna drown. He drowned. See, look at that. Do you see? I, one thing you have to learn is that video game bad guys, they can't fucking swim. What are you doing, bud? Hey, get off the ship, dude. Get off the ship! Buddy! I a couple good men in the scrap. We need new... I know where to start. When can we meet? Well... What do you mean? You get them aboard and... So you want... No, no. Well... Forward! What's on this funny island here? Do I smell a funny little island? I smell a funny little island here. Onward! Let's move it! Increase as speed! As we can. Commanders left the helm! You don't worry about it, gamers. Y'all just chill. Y'all chill in the funny water. Ooh, let's see if I got any good boys. Bounty on merchant ships. Nah, is there a way to upgrade my ship just from here? Oh, there we go. Ship! I think I have ship things. Yeah, because I have Bayak. I have Bayak's wife. There we go! Bayak's wife! Oh, fuck yeah! Look at how out of place and awful this will look. Everybody looks fucking terrible. This is perfect. Oh, I was just a bunch of gangsters, mom. Oh, I was just running around a fucking room. <laughs> Oi, mom. <laughs> Oi, we just running around Greece like that, eh? Oi, we're gonna bop some heads, eh? Bop some heads in Greece, eh? Oh, are we going to walk around Greece chalking it like? Oh, yeah, we're more chaffed, Governor, more chaffed. Oh, we might be quite chaffed, Governor. Oh, watch out for those ships, Governor. Oh, fucking British, in it. Better watch out. We're, we're, we're cruising for a bruising, mate. We're, fight we're fighting for a triton. Look at this tiny little funny island I found here. I live here now. How do I build a Minecraft house here? I'd like to settle down and build myself a little, a little hut. A little house. Claim this island is mine. Swim to the grocery store on my own, you know. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. We might chaffed, eh, Gavin? We might chaffed. Oh, let's check out the shop. Let's see what they got for our ship, eh? Look at all these cool designs for our ship, eh? Wowie fucking zowie. We could get an Abstergo figurehead. Oh, fucking, eh? Oi, check it out. You could have Abstergo soldiers. This is horrifying and I want it. They'd be fucking as horrifying as me. I would love it if my fucking boys were as horrifying as me. Holy shit. Tch. <laughs> 
If you buy the Abstergo soldiers, then they have guns. I don't have enough Helix credits. No. Guys, how do I get Helix credits so I can have my 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 special crew? No. Tell me what we can and can't do, cowards. Oh, belt. Epic. I love belt. Damn, I love wandering around finding belt. Travel speed. Okay, that's a good thing. Oh, hell yeah. Give me a yacht skin for my boat. Oh, yes. this ship. Fuck this ship. Let's kick their ass. Hey, what's up, losers? What, what the fuck is up, nerds? Watch out for my British gentleman. Kick him. By ex wife. You must abide. You must abide by maritime conflict law. Let me kill these guys first, and then I'll kick your ass. My shield. Hello, Proctor and Gamble. You fucking delicious company here. 
your fucking shield, bud. Oh no, bounty hunters, I'm afraid. I fear. This is me being afraid. Uh... <laughs> Do you hear me? I'm very feared. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna kick their ass. Boom. Board their ass. Your ship is my ship now. I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate. I'm a little pirate time, baby. It's just a little pirate time. Chill out. Give me your shield. I don't know where I I don't know how the fuck I took that from you, but I'm taking it. Kick! Oh, let me kick this guy. Come on, kick him. Take his shield. Bye, Onius. Bye, Onius. Oh, Hylos. Give me your shield, bud. Thank, Thank you, Byeg's fucking wife. Good thing Byeg's wife is here. Wowie zowie. As I always say, thanks, my ex-wife. Well, uh, oh, uh, guys, I'm sinking. Help me. Bye, nerds. I'm fucking out of here. I'm fast as lightning. Fast as ship. I should send Icarus up to get the lay of the land. He'll spot my target. Well, Commander, we live to sail. That's my target. Commanders left the helm. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm going to try to go and get some sleep now. Now the tiny little sleep the stream is over. I'm going to go and get some little sleepies. So, have a good one.